Hi everyone, this is the Bettner back again. So over the course of the past, you know, year or so, I've been doing a lot of unboxings with Darn Good Yarn, Yarn Box, and one or two other box yarn subscriptions. If you're not familiar with box subscriptions, um, basically you pay a fee once a month and they deliver X to your home. So with all these, uh, it ranges in price from like 10 to about $40 and they deliver yarn to your door once a month. I love them, they're great, but one thing I've been kind of paying, paying attention, um, one of the yarn boxes that I used to get was actually yarn box. Um, if you haven't heard, they're actually shutting down their doors um, a little bit later this month on the 14th. Um, it's just been a little bit interesting. Why I've been so intrigued with it by this was, um, so they have a couple different boxes that you could have gotten. One was 40 bucks, and it's like the regular yarn box. 60 bucks for like their Lux yarn or like their fancy yarn, and some other other services. Now over the past year or so, um, I've been hearing that they've been using some of their Lux yarn for their regular box yarn. So a couple of people have been mad about that. And they've also, I believe the founder of Yarn Books transitioned out and someone stepped up into their place. So as of the past like six months or so, um, a lot of the orders have been shipping late, um, whether it's been the monthly subscription or if you've just been ordering some overstock yarn from them, they've been taking a while to ship. Um, and that has been happening with all of their yarn subscriptions uh, which is kind of interesting because that's kind of what their business hinges on is time limits because they do say order by this date and we'll get it to you by this date we ship on this date so it's just kind of once you start changing the yarns that you use and delay shipping it kind of kind of have a profound effect on you know your sales which apparently this is very true with the yarn box um, I just wanted to get your thoughts about it because it was just kind of fascinating because there are a couple other box subscriptions that are kind of taking their place it's kind of box subscriptions have been very popular lately so it was kind of interesting to see how quickly other you know, uh, box subscriptions came up and became popular because I think the first yarn subscription I heard about was yarn uh, yarn box a couple years ago so that's part of the reason why I started with them first so it's a little sad to see them go and kind of what happened with them in terms of the delays and um, the late shipments and kind of all that so which is a little sad um, I, again let me know what you think about it in the comments below and also if you have any other box subscriptions that you like you enjoy let me know um, I'm kind of interested to see what everyone ha has to say about it and chime in and say. So I'm just, let me know. And I'll see you next week. Bye.